In this week's My Brussels, we meet John Wright, a prominent music and fashion photographer. He was in town for two days last week. It was his first time here, and we met up with him at the Botanique, where he gave us a frank appraisal of Brussels. I'm originally from Glasgow in Scotland, um, but this job has seen me working all over the world. Um, I've worked throughout the third world as a reportage photographer. Um, uh, the music and fashion stuff that I do now sees me travel quite a lot of Europe, quite a lot of the USA, and uh, like most people who travel a lot with work, it, it, the travel itself loses its, its appeal. You're looking for your city to inspire you a little, certainly as a photographer. I like to find something that, that sets that city apart um, for me. Somewhere that introduces itself and tells you tells you what it is and, and kind of what it's about. Um, I haven't found that in Brussels. But it was not your fault but mine And it was your heart on the line I've noticed some fairly really comical scenes um, some, uh, some very quaint small pockets of the city. The old part of town is very pretty as is the old part of, of most towns and cities. I very much expected a, a, a very picturesque, very quaint city along the lines of maybe of maybe Prague, I think, but um, it's not really what I found. I, I found a, a very quaint old pocket um, sort of in the middle of town, but the rest of it, it, it seems to be struggling with its identity. It, it has some very, very modern architecture and some very, very bad 70s architecture. I, w I was struck by, uh, beside the Ministry of Finance, there seems to be a huge dilapidated form of public building of, of some sort that, that just looks like some old Politburo from the East. I think I have found Brussels to be somewhat boring on my my one day visit. Um, I, I've travelled to other cities in similar circumstances. Uh, Rome uh, was very engaging, Cologne is very engaging, Milan was very engaging. I just haven't had really had the same experience in Belgium. It hasn't offended me. Um, it hasn't... Uh, the, the people, the people everywhere seem perfectly nice, but um, I don't think I'll hurry back for, for Brussels for its own sake. 